up to tries. What's up, guys? I don't know how well you can hear me. There's still some things that are gonna need to be worked out, especially uh, like angle and stuff. You can barely see me if I'm sitting all the way back. But anyway, welcome to Gamer Talk. Uh, ooh, which one is it? I please got which one this is. I'm thinking it's 16. We've done a lot. <laughs> Let's just look it up. <laughs> Gamer Talk 16. So, uh, welcome to Gamer Talk 16. Uh, a lot has changed. <laughs> Number one, different setup. Still working on the setup, but different setup so far. It looks amazing. I love it. Um, there's still some things we need to work out, don't, don't get me wrong. Number two, completely new logo, you guys can barely see it, that's what I'm getting at. We have some things that still need to be worked out. So, um, yeah, with that, welcome to Gamer Talk 16. Uh, we got a pretty good lineup today. Um, this should work. Starting off, I do believe that is Race and Punish. I can't see it. This is my laptop. So, um, yes, it's Race and Punish. I'm looking over at the other computer as well. Um, it is Race and Punish, followed up by... Oh jeez. Followed up by game news, then followed then will be followed up by a brand new segment, match up. Um it will be the first of the new segments that were announced on uh, uh year end twenty twenty. And then wrapping everything off Along with next, the next question. Out now. So, without further ado, let's head to race, 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 and punish. So, race and punish. What are we doing today? Well, we're using a diff we're using a car and we need to get like I think I've said uh said two goals. It's one of the uh wasteland uh you know uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of those. You get what I mean. <laughs> one of the messed up cars. <laughs> anyway, with that let's head to Brace and Punish. Let's get it done. Okay, I'm back on uh, on the game. Hold on one sec. There we go. I need. I completely forgot to wire up. Completely <laughs> forgot to wire up. Oopsies. <laughs> Oops. We're on Rocket League, going to Wasteland, I pit Ripper, that's the car I picked. What I mean is the two cars that came in the same DLC. So I I have them, they're, I, I have them both, so this is, this was uh, obviously going to be something we were going to do eventually. I have to get three goals, uh, we changed it a little bit. I have to get three goals, and um, no matter what, 
Well, at least our team has to get three goals. If we did, because the match goes and is on the match is unlimited. We need three goals to win. If you can see that on the screen, good for you. It says match length unlimited, match score three goals. The ball size is medium and boost strength is 10 times normal. This is going to be nuts. And I'm on our team. 2v2! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! I messed up something! I just blew up Khan. Okay, this is bad. I just realized something that I had on. I have mic audio on. <laughs> no! Wow. He saved it. Salty! How did he get that? Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's one nothing. We still need to get a goal or it still does not count. I we've got to turn boost to unlimited. Bye, Gerwin. Jeez, I tried. Uh uh. I haven't played this game in a good amount of time, so. That's probably why I'm a little rusty. I missed! That helped. Con? No. I jumped right over top of him. I, I was near the line up. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Where's the ball? Get it up! Come on. Far con. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh jeez. Me and Salty! I 
I don't like having this camera on, but, uh, it's kind of necessary now. Got him. Come on, Salty! how many recent punish things I've won. I think that's the one I've had the least amount of luck with. <laughs> I've done really bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, recent punish didn't go as well as we would have wanted. Oh well, let's move on. It's time for game news. We got a plethora of stuff to talk about and yell about. So, Game news, what's up? So, I'm recording this on September 10th. If you don't know what uh, happened uh, this week, like last week of August. So, let's let's start back at the last week of August with Gamescom and uh, DC event. Uh, so, what happened then? So, the last week of August was kind of chaos number one for us in general with the year end and stuff. Um, then there was DC Fandom, there was a Splatfest, uh, which I didn't take part in because I just got way too busy. Um, and then there was also Gamescom. So let's, uh, let's go through this, let's talk about what happened. So. Uh, let's talk about the first thing that happened, that's DC Fandom. So DC Fandom showed off two new games. Number one, Suicide Squad. Uh, the next game made by Rocksteady. If you don't know who Rocksteady is, Rocksteady has made all, pretty much all of the Arkham games. They're, they have now, they're now working on a Suicide game. Do you believe it said 2021 20, 20, or 2022? Hold on one sec. I would show the trailer, but it is kind of graphic, so I won't show it. <laughs> um, let's 
22, 2022 is when that game is expected. And then we finally got to see the next Batman game. Gotham Knights, made by Warner Brothers Montreal. Ah, ah, ah. It's coming out next gen, uh, so it's a next gen game coming, so that that's awesome. Um, I, I'm definitely going to get the game, it looks amazing. Me and I have already talked about it, it seems like it's going to be an amazing game. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with it, and um, yeah. So, secondly, um... Uh, I could show that trailer, but once again, I don't think I want to. But we got a couple of trailers too. We do have like I do want to show off two trailers. Number one, uh, I don't have them in here, so I'm gonna have to cut. But um, well, I'll have to cut anyway, so it makes sense. Anyway, first things first, Lego. Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga has been officially delayed. I'm pretty, I did say this in the NA Army brief, uh, media day that the game is pre-ordered. When it comes out, we don't know when that is, but when it comes out, we will get it, we will record it, and it will join the lineup as soon as we get, can. As soon as we can get it into the lineup, it will be in the lineup. Simple. And then, the, um, uh, uh, I'm debating showing it now, so that you guys can see it. Uh, because we got a gameplay trailer. The first technical gameplay trailer for the game we got. I, I, I'm making executive decision. Let's show it now. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to put it in the slides. I'm going to reset the slides. And then we're going to watch this trailer together. It's going to be the first trailer in the new setup. So, yay. of the force and become a Jedi like my father. The force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Twisted by the dark side. Now Skywalker has become. Happy Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi.
Okay. So, got to turn that. So, well, so, uh, the game looks really cool. Um, it is a bummer that it's delayed to spring. 21, but, uh, it could be delayed longer, but, uh, the game is looking good, it, it is looking good, at least if, if it's being delayed, that means it's gonna be more well done, it's gonna be more polished, we do know of, I think, like, I've heard some people say 25 now, or 20, I've heard one guy say 26 planets, there's a lot that's going to be in this game. It is going to be absolutely nuts. I can't wait to jump into it. I will be. I do have pre-ordered. I don't have the deluxe edition pre-ordered. Because when I pre-ordered it, that wasn't available. So, I do have the, the, the normal, ver the uh, regular version pre-ordered. That is coming. Well, it'll come whenever the game comes out. So, uh, yeah. We don't know when that'll be yet. They just kind of gave us a window saying spring. I have a feeling we'll hear more and more about it as we get closer to spring. Like in the beginning, uh, like early 21, I think we'll hear when uh, the actual date is, if it is. Spring. If not, then uh, if we don't get something in like uh, January, February, then it's probably safe to say it's getting delayed again. <laughs> but um, we it is. I I'm pretty sure. Uh, where, when did Force Awakens come out? June 28th! I should know that, I pre-ordered the deluxe edition of that If it gets too late till then, I wouldn't be too surprised if, because it keep constantly getting delayed or the pandemic and everything. It would be annoying though, but uh... I don't want to keep showing, talking about this game because I, I could, could go on for an entire video talking about this game. If you guys want to see me talk about the game for an entire video, let me know in the comment section below. There's a lot that I could cover. Anyway, um, it should be the next segment, but I forgot I, there is another trailer that I want to show. So, it is once again not in the system, it's not on the slides. It is the Xbox Series S. Unveiling the announcement trailer. So let's, let's show it. Uh, I don't have it in the lineup. I'm looking at the lineup over on the big screen. It's not there. It's not on the, in the lineup. So let's uh let's uh switch up stuff and let's get things in and let's uh yeah you get the point.
and I messed it up again. Anyway, I'm not getting that one. <laughs> I'm not getting that so I'd be getting the X. I, I like having a uh, disk drive. But, um... 299 dollars! That shocked everybody! <laughs> um... Then, immediately the day after they announced, um... The Series X price and release date, and I actually said, uh, uh after the Series S got November 10th on the trailer price and everything, I said that the X will either come out, will be either coming out before or on the exact same day. I was right. It came out on the exact same. It's coming out on the exact same day. They're both releasing on November 10th. A pure assert, September 22nd. And, uh, will I be getting the console right away? Uh, uncertain. I will say that much. I am uncertain if I will be getting it right away. I'll probably wait like a couple months. Um,. Yeah, my, probably just a couple months I'll wait, uh, I'm probably not going to get it straight away, because, uh, the Series X is, is, it's four, 499, I, I don't know what that would be here, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure that's just American, so I don't know what that would be where I am, I'm in Canada, I don't know what it would be, but, um, I will be, I'm, I'm wanting to get the Series X, I will not get the Series S because it's digital. That's that's literally the only reason. If it was if it had a disk drive, I'd be getting this one. It looks really cool. In my view. A lot of people it's been memed. So they did they pulled the PlayStation. They pulled the Sony. <laughs> they uh didn't do the best of jobs with the design. I will say that the uh, uh, then on the side, but they could have made it white, I, I will say that, it, it kind of stands out, but, um, they could have done better, but, I love Xbox, I'm not switching to PlayStation for the next gen, most of the game franchises that I love are on Xbox, uh, Forza, I know there's not a new Forza coming for quite a while as it's in early development, but um, I still want to be around when the new games come out and everything. So, with that, I will definitely be getting the Series X. I don't know where I'll put it. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I have a Nintendo, where the camera is, I have a Nintendo Switch, I have an Xbox One X, I have a Sega Genesis, I have an Atari, both, uh, re, uh like, you, you get, you know what I mean, I unbox them, uh, Wii U, Xbox 360, but I'm gonna need to rearrange so much, and the issue with the X, I know you can lay it down on its side, uh, nah, I'm not doing that, I'm sort of standing it up, right? Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's probably going to go the exact same spot that X is on, which means the X will probably go down to where the 360 is. Uh, well, and the 360 might be moved out entirely, I'm not using it anymore. So... Uh, with that, the Series S, really cool, immediately after they also announced, uh, another membership, um, I think it's Xbox All Access, and it pretty much just has everything involved in one, which, I thought Ultimate was already that, guess it wasn't. Now, uh, and I guess it might have something to do with EA Play joining that. I'm pretty sure I already have that. <laughs> so, not that big of an issue. But, 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 um, 
the reason why I'm not making the switch right away, number one, I it's a lot of money. Number two, I'm all I already have games coming for the this current generation. Uh, what? Well, the next game that's coming is NHL 21, and that's uh, releasing October 16th, I think. Uh, and if you guys want to keep up to date with NH NHL stuff, uh, follow the Custom Season channel and the um, end us on Instagram uh, as I run my season. I post when everyone scores, goal. When the team wins a game, some people get annoyed. <laughs> but um, I have fun with it. You guys should check it out. It's a lot of fun doing it. But without further ado, let's head to the next segment, and that is uh, I need to try to get this properly. Oh my god. <laughs> Matchup. So, which little game are we the furthest in? Hmm. Force Awakens. Ah, you heard me correctly. We are headed to Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. And we are going to craft, I can't remember who. I don't think I've set this yet, but uh, we will be making a droid in the first episode of match, match, match up. Okay. Uh, so we will be matching a droid to something. Uh, this will suck. Let's go. Okay, so, uh, welcome to LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens, uh, for the first ever episode of Matchup, uh, well, the first ever segment of Matchup. And, uh, we are need to make a droid matchup to a character in a uh, different series. So, what we're gonna do this, and uh, you heard me say to a different series, like it could be any other game. For the first episode, I decided Pikachu. <laughs> so, Primary color. What do we need for Pika? <laughs> I would think yellow. Right? Yeah. He has some black and some brown, so. Hmm. I think we did it.
There we go. What the heck? That's annoying. There we go. So, we did it! Now we have to do something with them. <laughs> But, uh, I guess, let's show you guys. I know matchup, it'll take some time. This is, like, the only game we can do stuff in at the moment. But, trust me, we will do, uh, better stuff in the future. I just didn't want to do a person for, uh, episode one. That this is the only game we can, uh, do a droid in. Unless you can in, uh, number three. I don't think you can, though. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Swore we completely cleared them out. Hmm. So I like Pika. I like what I did with him. And uh, yeah, kind of a boring segment to start. Uh, uh, kind of a boring one, I know, but uh. I wanted to do something that I knew I could do, uh, currently, because I'm not fully done this game. If it was fully done this game, then yeah, oh yeah, we do other things, but it's literally the only character that I know for sure I could have actually matched up. So, with that guys, let's head back to the desk! Okay, so, so what's no so, that, um, I, I know it was kind of anticlimactic, it'll be better for the next time, just, I wanted to start off with something that I knew I could do, uh, that I knew I could do. I've seen people do it. <laughs> so, I knew how to do it. Um, matchup will be able to be taken to different levels in different games, but in some games it'll be a little, little harder. So, uh, in that one it was kind of easy uh, to do. But, uh, I'm sure the next time we bring matchup in, it'll be a little bit more difficult. So, without further ado, let's head to technically the final segment. Let's head to Out Now. So, Out Now. Uh, I don't think much. Well, actually, Crackchen, Mulan is now out on Disney Plus in Premier Access, and I can't remember how much it costs to uh, watch it on Disney Plus. Um, it's not a movie I, I pay to watch. Just saying, I wouldn't pay to watch it. I know others would. Not not my thing. That that those the type of movie it is it, it's just not my thing. So, um, can't really think of anything else. We know of things coming out. 
I got October will be kind of kind of busy. Um we're in the time that games are releasing. Uh and stuff will be coming out. Uh I completely forgot to mention this in game news. Assassin's Creed Valhalla has changed their uh release date. They have moved it up to November 10th to run in uh in direct line with the release of the Xbox Series X and Series S. Um uh, so, guess that makes sense. It, it's like been the main game that Xbox has shown uh, their uh, work on, the, their new engine on. Uh, so, the like graphics and stuff, that's what I mean. Uh, besides that, I can't think of anything else that has come out recently or is coming so I guess without further ado let's head to the next question let's actually wrap up episode 16 of Gamer Talk so I would need to talk, I have a question I don't even remember uh, I know it's about next gen because we've talked about a lot about next gen stuff in this episode. If you don't like us talk about next gen stuff, tell us and uh, we'll uh, talk about other stuff. Might be a little hard because uh, next gen is kind of taking over right now. Um, I'm just bringing up the Gamer Talk slides on my phone. Yeah, which, no, you guys can tell us this, tell us what your, uh, what you are looking the most, what next gen game are you the mo looking the most forward to playing, or gay, or seeing us play, let us know in the comments section below, and with that, guys, it's probably not the strongest gamer talk in the world, but, it's still a gamer talk. That'll do for GT 16. GT 17 October will be coming. It's going to be a spooky one. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do, but I'll probably do something spooky. Anyway, uh, with that, guys, hopefully we can uh, do uh, a couple, another news uh, segment in the next one. One that's a little bit more fun than the one we had in today's. Like, um... I'm wanting to do, uh, I was wanting to do Slack challenges for this one, but completely, I completely forgot that this needed to be made, so I'm literally recording this last minute. So, um, usually I record these the week before, so I have enough time to get everything done if I'm missing something. But uh, today, literally everything had to be done, made, and ready to be edited for the upload on Friday. So, with that, guys, I'm GameNator5, signing off from the Enamor team. Uh, maybe me and I will jump into Splatoon 2 for Splat Challenges in October. We will see. I will run that fire uh, pretty soon. But with that, guys, goodbye!